Hey guys, and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. I want to start off this episode by taking a look at some of the goalkeeper statistics because as you know, we've signed two goalkeepers in the January transfer window and somehow Lugano is still a first choice keeper and we're going to analyse their stats in depth a little bit because I want to hear your opinion on the situation and as I'm looking at him right now, I see his contract is expiring. I'm not even going to give him 50 k 15k, I'm going to give him 20k but... The main reason why I want to take a look at him is because I don't quite understand how a 69 rated goalkeeper is outperforming 80 rated goalkeepers. You can see Oblak in 7 games has only managed one clean sheet and average of a 6.2 rating which is technically very very average. We're looking at Geronimo Rulli slightly better, he keeps a clean sheet once every 2 games, a 6.9 but Lugano without a shadow of a doubt is the best out of all 3. 7.1, 16 appearances, 8 clean sheets. He's in good form, very happy morale, and I just want to hear your thoughts. Is it because he's so happy that he's doing well? Is it because he's a youth player? What kind of theories do you guys have for uh, this inexplicable phenomenon where Lugano is just better than the two goalkeepers we bought in? But that's enough of that. Let's head into the first game against Fiorentina, the first game of today's episode. We will also be playing the first leg against Valencia, probably sim the game against Bologna and play the game against Cagliari. So three games, uh, two massive ones starting up against Fiorentina. If we can once again get over 100 likes on this episode, that would be absolutely awesome. I did ask for it in the previous episode and you guys delivered big time. Well over 100 likes if we can do that again. That's absolutely awesome. We're nearing the end of season four and I want it to be a good one. We are the top scoring team in the league, you may have noticed that, but we're also the best defensive team in the league. Only two losses so far. Fiorentina are currently in fifth. They're trying to get into the Champions League spot, so they're definitely a good side. And as you saw, my side is not the strongest, it's rotated, so we're in for a good game. Good interception there by Bonaventura. Giacomo Bonaventura is running at them. He has to turn back, not really a good option there. Carnino, no, it's Oliveira! Just wide, good chance. Into Bonaventura, Bonaventura into Mulai, Drissa, Mervia, Mervia looking for Alex Carnino and it's 1-0 AC Milan. Lovely build-up, we've been all over Fiorentina, we have camped in their half for this first half hour and we finally break the deadlock, well deserved. Good tackle by Mervia, Carnino is on it, Carnino gets past one, Oliveira has to make the run, not the best of runs. But he's still going to get it. Sergio Oliveira for maybe 2-0. And it is 2-0. He places that beautifully into the bottom right-hand corner. The keeper is not getting near that. And the Portuguese midfielder, after a bit of a long absence, I'd say, back into the team and shows us what he can do. Lovely work again. Look at the run by Carnino. He was through on goal. That ref, you can't blow up for full time. Or half time, uh, rather, there. We're winning 2-0. I feel like this has been a very dominant performance by AC Milan. We've had all the chances. They haven't been near our area. 51% possession. And you can see by the possession, we are literally camped on their half for most of the time. So very impressive stuff. Romagnoli tried to go for the inception. He couldn't get there. Borja Valero is on it. I try to block off the crossing lane. And it eventually... Gets defended well, but they're still going. Fiorentina, this could be their first chance of the game. Bernardeschi. Bernardeschi still going. Lugano, safe hands. Oh, good work there by Basilio. He's against Miracoli. Miracoli does put in a good challenge. And we eventually get rid of it. Alex Carnino against two defenders. Goes past one. Carnino goes past another. Carnino, good pace. Alex Carnino uses his strength. He's still going. Carnino, and he scores. He makes it 3-0. Absolutely applaud that goal from Alex Carnino, brilliant stuff, solo effort from the striker who's not really a dribbling maestro, he isn't a Donati when it comes to dribbling, but what he did there was exceptional, pure strength and pace and a good finish, gotta love that headband, Jordan Lukaku running at them, waiting for Mervillo to make that good run, Carnino is nowhere to be found so we're gonna cut inside, then go for the cross towards, I wanted to go to Carnino but Jordan Lukaku nearly with an absolute unbelievable goal and Baselli with the follow-up can't get it on target. Burned for pace by Ardizoni. He's got fresh legs. Calabria hasn't got it. Oh, and it's a good chance. Over the bar, game over. We win the first game of the episode convincingly. 3-0. This is the first time in a very, very long time we have played like this in the first game of an episode. Carnino getting a 9.7. I didn't even make substitutions. The team was that fa that good. The, the flowing football was too great to make substitutions. Everyone got a good rating, except for maybe Fortuna dos Santos, who was a bit anonymous, and Calabria. But other than that, you're looking at fantastic ratings. 
Lugano has actually declined the offer, which is kind of strange because I gave him more that he wanted to. I gave him an improved squad role as well, but he wants um, the contract length demands to be uh, what he asks for. So we're going to do that and we're going to give Cesare Tonelli a contract because he's one of the youth players that wants to come out of the youth system for the first time this season. And here is Cesare Tonelli, 16 years old, 5 foot 3, really, really good potential. But his stats right now are still a bit weak. Physically, he seems to be all right. A decent pace, agility and jumping. Skill attributes, his finishing and shot power and long shots are actually quite good. So he actually has the attributes of an attacker, which is rare. Usually, most of my attackers have better stand tackling than they have finishing. But uh, in this case, he is well-rounded. Only a bit on the low side when it comes to his stats. Hopefully, he can improve that soon enough. Sporadic first team player. Let's see what that uh, if he accepts that. A lot of messages to go through, an update from Germany, not interested, press conference, not interested, Tonelli has joined the first team, welcome Cesare, hopefully you can impress Rodrigo, Eli has renewed his contract, he was also in the last year of his contract, just like Lugano, unfortunately I can't renegotiate for Lugano just yet, we'll have to be patient, Donati and Oliveira want to play in the next game, and rightly so they should. Now they've asked to play and I'm actually not going to play them, I just realised as well that we have to play Valencia in a couple of days. Hopefully this won't anger them, but we need them for the big game. The game against Valencia. This Bologna game at home, we're going to sim. And we're probably going to... Again, that's... All three losses this season in the Serie A have come from me simming them. And I feel like they're very harsh on us, FIFA, because this is a home game. 99% of the time, you win those games. But he wants to have improved wages. We're going to take a look at that. Um... Yes, okay, Donati, I know you're a good player, you would have, you would have made an impact, and um, Oliveira as well. I feel like Donati is always a bit more emotional when it comes to these types of things. Oliveira is calm, Donati is the type of guy to burst out in the press how, he, how unhappy he may be. Hopefully that's not the case this time, or I'll have to punish him again. Had to make a couple of tough decisions for the game at the Estadio Mestala against Valencia because there's a lot of good players that are fit. My full team is at my disposal. The likes of Oliveira impressed me. He deserves to play, which means Verratti, Insigne and uh, Bonaventura. No, not Bonaventura, but someone else are on the bench. Really good players are on the bench. And Decilio is coming in for Jordan Lukaku. Okore is replacing Romagnoli. I just feel like this is a strong side. Daniel Lugano, no surprise, in net going up to a 70 rating and I see Sergio Aguero wearing a Valencia kit so he may get tested. First time in the career mode we're playing at the Estadio Mestala, lovely scene in the Europa League. You know what, the Europa League is not too bad when it comes to uh, the final stages of the competition. I feel like these are big games, prestigious games that you want to win and to be honest we have to win the Europa League if we want to save our seasons. Uh, or season uh, rather. These are the teams that are left. Schalke, Sevilla, very interesting fixture. Arsenal against Newcastle. An all English around there bit with Newcastle relegated in real life. So that's interesting to see Tottenham still in it as well. We have to be confident in our own strengths. We should be able to beat them. Donati against Aguero. Two Argentinian players going to get, uh, against each other. A 10 year difference in age. Let's see who wins. Talent or experience. Aguero given space by Maximovic. Aguero cuts inside, maybe looking for the pass. Oh, good interception by Okore. Play through Balotelli, he's through on goal. Balotelli on the counter attack. Okore intercepted, and we've gone all the way towards the other end. Balotelli, good save by Diego Alves. Well, in short, Oliveira looking for Bonaventura on the edge. Bonaventura finesse shot from distance. Oh no, what you've done? Oh no, what have you done? Lugano came out, and I didn't. I, th I was sure he was going to get that. I didn't even call for him to come out. Usually when keepers come out on their own accord, they're getting the ball. But right there, both my defender and Lugano came up short and Javi Fuego makes it 1-0 for Valencia. It's been a shocking half. Honestly, touch has been going the wrong way. When I tackle them, they instantly win the ball back. And this is not just once or twice. This has been the story of the entire first half. Very, very shocking. We had chances though. I'm not going to say we played too bad when we were in possession of the ball. But getting possession is a real pain in the arse. One mistake and they scored. That is the quality uh, you get in these stages of uh, the Europa League. Verratti has to come on. Insigne maybe as well. I'm, I'm not going to wait too long with substitutions. A double substitution at half time. I, I want my boys to be aware of the fact that I'm not too happy with how things are going. El Shirawi. Verratti looking for Balotelli. Balotelli can take him on. He's looking for the pass into Lorenzo Insigne. Insigne turns back. Back into Mario Balotelli. He's been brought down. What a challenge. 
Gotta win that. Gotta win that, boys. Where are we? Be aware of the danger. Mark up. Uh, Piatti ruining us again. Lugano makes a fantastic save. And what are we doing? Oh, my God. Lugano again. Good tackle by Alan. We've got a run in, Lo uh, not Lorenzo Insigne, Marco Verratti looking for ball. I don't understand. Marco Verratti, you're the best passer on the game. That shouldn't be going to Diego Alves. Alan, Bruno Perez out wide. Well played, Bruno Perez looking for the inside. Insigne looking for Balotelli. Balotelli holding on to the ball, waiting for a runner. They've closed down the middle so well. Verratti now, there's still a chance here. Bruno Perez, what can he do? Bruno Perez back to Verratti. I need to be so cautious. They've parked the bus. If you lose the ball now, it's game over. Lorenzo Insigne tries it. We're still in possession of the ball. This is a long highlight, but it could be worth it. Lorenzo Insigne slips through Donati. This is it. Ricardo Donati for 1-1. Off the post. Insigne looking for Balotelli. Balotelli turns. Balotelli, good strength. Is that a penalty? Yes. He's given it. The referee has given a penalty. Debatable, I think. Is that Ayman Abdenour? It is. He's been booked. That could have been a good challenge. I'm not sure. Coutinho is absolutely out losing it right now. Was that a penalty or not? Let's take a look at the replay. Ayman Abdenour goes in for the challenge. He takes out Balotelli's left leg first and then wraps himself around the ball. I'm going to let you guys decide in the comments down below was this a penalty or not. But first order of business is to put this one away against Diego Alves. It's Mario Balotelli. He won it and he could score and he does. Milan make it 1-1. Mario Balotelli going for the shush. He can do whatever he wants. I don't care. A very, very crucial away goal. It's back open. It's wide open for the, for the game at the San Siro. This can go either way still. A draw is probably how this game is going to end. Very, very clutch penalty goal by Mario Balotelli. One minute of injury time, and this time it's actually one minute and not 20 minutes like in the previous episode. We pick up a draw, and I'm very happy with that because we had a very unlucky game. I felt like we were definitely the even side. We deserved to get at least a draw out of this one. I want to give a quick uh, shout-out to Valencia. What a team they have, and what a team... They, how they're using this team is absolutely fantastic. The midfield of Pereira and Coutinho supplying for Aguero, Figuli and Piatti is insane. I'm very surprised with the transfers they made. Aguero and Coutinho and Pereira are just quality players. This is a Champions League side. This to me feels like a Champions League clash. The other results in the Europa League so far. Spurs have beaten Bursa Spore away from home. That's to be expected. Newcastle have beaten... Arsenal 2-1 at St. James is very interesting. Schalke Sevilla also still wide open. The final game of the episode is against Cagliari, a rotated side again, saving my strongest players for the return game against Valencia, which will be huge in the next episode. If you're looking forward that, to that, then let me know by leaving a like down below. And let me know what you think we'll do at home against Valencia. This is the team I've picked. A few interesting choices. Uh, Carnino is up front with Chalhanoglu in behind. Lugano, I thought he made a mistake against Valencia, but he pulled off some incredible saves as well. So I'm going to keep him there. Robert Erhardt, the David Alaba regen, playing in CDM because he can play there. Ricardo Alves, potentially making his debut. I'm not sure if he's played before, but Ricardo Alves is a left back. Now playing at right back because he does have a five-star weak foot. Let's get into the game and see how this one pans out. We're playing against Andrea Pulli, former AC Milan. Good luck to you, my sir, but I'm looking to pick up three points. Good tackle. Carnino is making that run. It's a lovely pass by Chalhanoglu. Carnino still going. Plays it out wide. Hakan Chalhanoglu is on it again. Hakan Chalhanoglu can't pull the trigger. What a horrible first half. I'm not happy with how this game is going. We have been horrible. They had a couple of shots, not even dangerous enough to show you. We had no shots in the first half. I can't remember how long it has been since I've gone into halftime without having a shot. I don't think that's even happened in this career mode. I'm not sure. I'm not going to make changes. This team should be capable enough to do it. I'm not going to risk my best players for this game. This is a good chance here. Just wide by Cagliari. Good work by Erhardt. He's got space. He spots the run by Fortunato Santos. Not the best ball. Chalhanoglu cuts on the inside. Hakan. Chalhanoglu back into Erhardt. Not good enough. Hakan. Play. Oh my god, you're shy. This is a good counter-attack here, Melchiori. He's got a runner on the back post. Ibarbo makes it 1-0. And you can't say it's not deserved. We still are yet to have a shot on goal. It's got to be done. I'm bringing on Insigne. Chalhanoglu, you have been nothing short of a disappointment. This has been the worst performance of an individual I've seen all season. Hang your head in shame. Robert Erhardt from Merville. 10 minutes to go. Molai Idrissa Merville, good pace. 
Oh, good tackle by Andrea Pulley, of all people. Look at that man celebrating. Look at him. Fucking useless sack of shite. You're not good enough for Milan. That being said, we had no shots that game. It was god awful. I want to see the ratings, actually. Insigne managed to come on and do worse than Chalhanoglu, who was the worst before. Lugano, the best rated player. Nothing I can say wrong about him. Um, the team in general was an absolute pile of wank that game. And going into the crucial game against Valencia with this game in the back of our mind is not good. I'm not looking forward to the next episode. We started off so well. I felt confident about the second leg against Valencia. But now, after that game against Cagliari, I really should be sacking almost half the team uh, from the players that have played that game. Because that was horrible. It was not just the fact that we lost. The fact that we didn't get a shot that game is really going to hurt us for the next episode when we've got three, maybe four huge games. Quarterfinal, second leg, Valencia. League game against Napoli at home. Cup semi-final against Inter. We already played that first leg and we won 1-0. So we're pretty safe there. Then the Milan derby in the league as well. I'm probably just going to play these three games and save that second derby for the episode after that. But crucial episode coming up. I hope you're looking forward to that. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all later.